Hey there, welcome to Lemmy's Fishing Tips. Today we're going to talk about J hooks versus circle hooks. Here's a J hook. Pretty simple, right? Fish grabs it, you yank, he's stuck. Here's a circle hook. Now, you've probably heard that these are much better for catching fish right in the corner of the jaw, right? They don't very often gut hook a fish or get stuck in the roof of their mouth. So, catch and release guys in particular really like these guys. But you look at it and you think, well, that's weird. The way that point's turned down, it would never actually catch anything, right? Well, here's how they work. Sure, if it's just pulling, the hook will slide right out of its mouth. And that's why if you set the hook with a circle hook, you rear back when a fish bites, you're going to yank it right out of his mouth. You have to let the fish grab the bait and swim away. Because when it's going away from this, it turns and catches right in the jaw. Let's look at this from another view that makes it really clear. I'm just going to get a piece of paper here and make a fish mouth, right? There's our fish mouth. This is the corner of the jaw. If I yank the hook when I get a bite, it slides right out. But if the fish is swimming in the other direction, oh, look at that. It pops right through the corner of the jaw. So the moral of the story is, if you want to catch a fish on a circle hook, never yank back, right? Just let the fish take it, close your bail, and wait till the fish applies tension and slowly begin to reel. If you're fishing with a J hook, yeah, do your Bassmaster Classic hook set, right? Try and rip the fish's lips off. That's about it. So next time you got with circle hooks or J's, I hope you catch them up. 